Hi everyone, welcome to Why, Why, Why Not? I'm your girl, Wylandria, and I'm happy to be back with all of you. Haven't seen you since, mm, was it Tuesday? I think so. But I am back. I was under the weather just a little, not sick, sick, just had a sprain on my Achilles. So I hadn't been in the mood to do anything, just more frustrated than anything. So, but I'm doing a lot better. So I'm here with you to eat a little breakfast. Today I have biscuits and gravy and bacon from IGA. Yes, IGA. So yeah, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I'm gonna do my thumbnail. I'm not going to be before all of you long, but yesterday was Tyra's, give me a second. Oh, okay. Yesterday was Tyra's first day of school. And it was bittersweet, but it was nice. We had a long talk about things for her to look, look forward to and look out for and just to stay focused. So, um, oh, let me see my grace. Lord, I want to thank you for the food that I'm about to receive. Help it to nourish my body. In these words, we ask in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. So today my topic is on family. Yeah, I am so grateful for my family. All of them contacted Tyra to wish her a happy first day of school. Able to spill on how high school now got some good bacon and how she needs to make sure she focused because this is when it really really counts for college and y'all know I know all about college I told her the same thing but you know kids it's better coming from somebody else <clears throat> that's why you have to have that good positive village that you know have your same goals and morals as you do that can give your kids advice that you know is meaningful and truthful some of the same things you'll say but you ain't told them to say it which is a blessing so my family they called her, text her, mentor, sent a long text, very appreciative of them. I posted on my social media, a picture popped up of her going to first grade, second grade, so I did that along with the one for Ninth grade. And a lot of people gave well wishes on there. But y'all family is key. And I'm not just talking about immediate family, blood family. I consider family real close, true friends that you know you can call on, can count on, for good advice. You don't even have to talk to those friends every day. Maybe once every three months, four months. But when you talk, you pick up on conversations like you just talked the night before. That's a friend. A friend is someone that you can call and they tell you exactly what you need to hear. They're not just saying, yeah, because they know you want to hear yeah. No, they're going to tell you when you're wrong. Same with family. My family is brutally, brutally honest. And I appreciate it. So I prepare myself when something is different. I even, I had me a new friend to take that. I will forewarn that friend just so they can be prepared. Because they hold nothing back. 
nothing at all. That's why I'm still looking like James Brown. It's okay with me. They see what they feel. But if I don't agree, I don't have to take it. But if I want everybody, yeah, I'll take it. So I'm just so grateful to have my family and friends who are family in my life to help me with Tyra. And I know y'all sick of hearing me saying, but a single parent. But y'all, when they say a single parent, it's difficult. It's difficult. No child asks to be here. We bring them here. Sometimes it's pain. Sometimes it's not. Mine wasn't. But God knows exactly what he's doing. He blesses you with what you need at that time. Not that I was wild and out there. But I guess at that time, I knew that. And I'm grateful for it. Because it has brought me out of a lot of things. Things that I didn't do. Like I told y'all, I'm content with sitting at home doing nothing. It made me be more sociable out with others. Now, I talk to people like I know them all, my whole life when I see them. And I don't have to talk to you again until I see you again. Because it's not like I'm picking up a phone just to call people. Don't do that. No, I don't do that. I don't like be popping up at people's house. Now, for the 4th of July, Memorial Day, or Labor Day. Yes, I'm finding the cookout. Other than that, just like to go over there and sit down and just run your mouth. Mm -mm. I'm not that type of person. But, y'all, family is key. And family, like I said, is more than just blood. Family. Media. Family are those that you can trust. Who you know have your best interest. That's family. Family have no color, no race, no sexual orientation, no religious content, none of that. Just true caring people that wants the best for you and everything about you that surrounds you. We all picked her up. We sat down and we discussed things. And she was so excited. I didn't tell her a lot of things before she went there. Because she was so excited. Yeah, mommy. I'm so mad. I'm so happy. Four classes a day. In my mind, little girl, I told you, high school is preparing you for college. So it's a lot like college. But she didn't want to put the two and two together. To see that those four classes are like college classes, like lecturer classes. Huh? Where the teachers are like professors. They're lecturing you about the, the assignment or the lesson for the day. That's on the syllabus. So she got in the car and she said, Mommy, oh, that was good. But you know we're in class 90 minutes? I said, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. We thought you was going to go in there and be in recess the rest of the day. But we got 40 minute lunch. Now she was excited about that 40 minute lunch. But she said everything was good. ROTC wasn't what she said she enjoyed it, but she was shocked with what she had to do at the beginning put her stuff down, and they gave her orders. She didn't know what they meant. I said, but it'd be great for you, especially what you have going on. She's already talking about what she's going to volunteer to do with ROTC. Yep. And then she was saying how they can be on a phone a certain time. I said, well, I don't see how that's possible. Because with y'all, y'all start something, y'all want to finish it. And if it's time for y'all to put something up, it's itching y'all hand to pick it back up to finish it. And y'all supposed to be doing your lesson. 
I said, so what we'll do is we'll start off. If you can be on your phone, there's something else that you can be doing, whether it be homework for something else, um, ideas for your business. So there's other things that you can be doing. Y'all know I forgot it again, but I said it in and moved to the front. So, she said, yeah, I said, so what we'll do is we'll first start off not doing the phone because we don't want distractions from what you got to do. And even though she said everyone else is on their phone and I'm just sitting there, I said, well, there's something else you're going to be working on. As a business person, as a business owner, you have things coming up that you'll have to do. So that's you planning for that. I would suggest you do that until we see that you're comfortable with your assignments and work. Then you can start doing your phone and then get off your phone and go back to your work. I say, I just don't want you getting sidetracked with looking at Instagram or whatever you're doing. On there, instead of focusing on your work. So, yeah, I got my earpiece again. Sorry. But that's basically it. Just want to tell y'all what was going on with me. How I love my family and all those around me who really take the time and care for me and Tyra and help us out. Even though I don't ask for help all the time, if I were to ask, I know that they're there. And um, rude of myself, I did not ask y'all how y'all were doing. How are y'all doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. I'm back at work making it. So I know this is pretty short, but I just wanted to come on and give y'all a video today. And I'll probably do one with Tyra this afternoon that I post tomorrow because she wants me to do something with her today. Y'all know how she does. And we're going to discuss her school. And she's going to tell y'all about. Her subjects and teachers, I think that's what she said. Y'all know she's she been rambling on, y'all. Oh, she been rambling. I love her. Love her dearly. That little girl can talk. As you can see, she can really talk. Can she get that for me? I guess she does. But um, thank y'all, everyone that has subscribed to my channel. I do appreciate all of you coming. And if you want, I would truly appreciate if you would give me some topics to talk about any questions you might want to uh, ask. I'll be happy to answer um, some things that you want to see me do on my channel. I'm willing to do that as well. Um, but I'm enjoying it because I have some things, like I said, to talk with all of you about. There's important topics and some just random topics. Today was a little, little I, I pretty much knew what I was going to talk about. And, um... But I do want to tell y'all this. How about I went to the store and me and my dad were always talking about how these kids and technology and how when we had the registers and stuff, you know, we had to do calculations in our heads. But if you go to a restaurant now or a store and you give someone, if it's, say it's um, $6 and... 40 cent and you give them $11 and 50 cent why are they confused we went to a store and we purchased something that was I think it was five excuse me five dollars 40 cent no it was it was six dollars i think it was six dollars and forty cents i gave the person twenty one dollars and forty cents she took the stuff hand us our stuff and she said is there anything else i can get from you i said yeah my change she said oh okay so I'm sitting, I'm sitting there, me and Tyra talking, and she's still there fidgeting. Took her money out of pocket. She's still there fidgeting. So I'm looking at her. Oh, I'm going to have to go inside 
and get a calculator because I just, I just don't. Oh, look. I said, sweetie, you owe me $15. And she looked at me like, I, I said, yeah, I gave you $21. My bill was $6. I gave you $21.40. My bill was $6.40. So you owe me $15. Oh, it's been one of those days. I told Tyra, see, that's why I tell you to put down your cell phone. Y'all, we got to do better. We got to do it. The next time y'all go to the store, do that. Do that, for real. Do that and see what happens. See what happens, because normally they just look at that first bill, and they put that in, not putting in the dollar bill or the change, and then they stand there, and they're trying to figure out and figure out. Do that next time. But... All right, so I'm going to get out of here. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, share with others so they can come in and join the Why, Why, Why Not family. And um, also go to Tyra's Big World of Flavor. I know you probably come from Tyra's Big World of Flavor, but please help her out. That's her other job. That's her job. She said that's going to be her focus of her job instead of going to like Chick-fil-A our burger king or mcdonald's because that's what she's going to focus on she's going to dedicate her time to that as if she was at the other jobs along with her business so y'all like she's doing that all by herself but it's okay it's fine as long as she comfortable and happy i'm comfortable i'm happy so y'all also continue to share her channel with others as well so hers can grow and she can um She's enjoying what I'm doing so she can enjoy it even more. So, thank all of you for coming. And why, why, why not come back again and see what Wylandria has to offer. See y'all later.